former finance minister P. Chidambaram slams the Modi government after extension of CBI custody. He's been sent to CBI custody and Chidambaram speaking to India today has slammed Modi government over the growth figures, saying, do you know what is 5% GDP? Here's that entire sequence. Sir, you want to say anything? You have been in 15 days. Sir, you want to say anything? 5%. What 5%, sir? What is 5%? GDP. Do remember 5%? Sir, sir, you want to say anything? You have been in 15 days. Sir, you want to say anything? 5%. What 5%, sir? What is 5%? GDP. Do remember 5%? Sir, sir, you want to say anything? You have been in 15 days. Sir, you want to say anything? 5%. What 5%, sir? What is 5%? GDP. Do remember 5%? Sir, Okay, so that is the sequence uh, on camera there. Chidambaram being asked about the fact that his CBI custody has been extended. However, he continues to question the Modi government, taking this across to uh, Anisha Mathur. Anisha, a clear taunt there from the former finance minister over the GDP numbers. Well, yes, Akshita, the former finance minister who is in uh, CBI custody choosing to ignore the questions on CBI custody but uh, questioning the government on the 5% GDP growth rate. Remember, P. Chidambaram came out from the court today quite jubilant because he has got what he wanted from the courts today. He will not go to jail for now. He remains in police custody till the 5th of September. But as the former finance minister, he has uh, taunted the... Uh, government on what is the, the current GDP growth rate of the country. The opposition, of course, if we've seen the way the opposition has come out to attack the government on the latest GDP figures, the uh, slowdown in the auto industry, the slowdown in several core industries, as the government has admitted to. And the opposition, of course, is up in arms. And Peter Dambram taking this opportunity after getting relief from the courts to uh, the, the, put his two cents in and question, do you know what is 5% at this moment? But remember, Picha Damram remains in CBI custody till the 5th of September when the Supreme Court is going to hear his petitions against the CBI arrest warrant and also pass orders regarding his anticipatory bail plea against the Enforcement Directorate. So while the former finance minister is taking a shot at the present government, he is far from getting relief for in the case that he is currently embroiled in. Yes, Absolutely. and Chidambaram, of course, has led the attack time and again for the opposition on issues, on matters pertaining to the economy. But one can't also help but notice, Anisha, the body language of the former finance minister. Almost every time he's been produced in court, he's had this air of self-assurance or at least projected it. Uh, you know, as far as the optics go, he's shown a thumbs up, he's waved to the media. And now when asked about all the developments that have taken place, about the fact that he remains in CBI custody, he responds spokes with a joy with a taunt to the Modi government almost to send across a message that he's not been affected in any way by the developments that have taken place in the INX case. Well, yes, it is. Uh, as I was just saying, the uh, the body language, the face, uh, facial expression, Chidambaram is today very, very happy with how the entire thing has gone in courts for him. The Supreme Court giving him relief, saying that he will not be sent to Tihar jail for now. He will remain in CBI custody, as, which is what his legal team wanted. His petition for bail will also be heard on the 5th. And on the 5th, uh, the Supreme Court is also set to hear his appeal against the arrest warrant issued by the CBI. And and the CBI Supreme Court will also be passing its judgment on his anticipatory bail plea against the Enforcement Directorate. So for the next three days, P. Chidambaram is going to remain in CBI custody. What is also interesting, Akshita, is that the CBI today told the Supreme Court they do not need him for custodial interrogation any longer. So uh, in the INX media case, at least, P. Chidambaram is getting what he wants for now. It will be it will be seen what his body language, what his expressions are going to be on the 5th when all of these orders will be passed in the INX media case as well as in the Aircel Maxis case where his anticipatory bail plea uh, is also uh, being heard by the Rouse Avenue so court. So a lot of things now yes. adjourned from today till the 5th but P. Chidambaram as the former finance minister who's also been at the forefront taking a shot at the government. So he's got a lot of troubles himself in the INX media case, the Aircel Maxis case but Chidambaram putting up a smile there and taunting the Modi government. Anisha, thanks for joining us. Let's once again play out that entire sequence of exactly what he had to say when a reporter asked him about the developments in his case.
What 5%? What is 5%? Do you don't remember 5%? So